So in today's video, we are going to talk about the protest that took place in Goa, which is called the Goa Malam protest. So what is Malam? Malam is a small village in Goa, South, uh, South India on National Highway, near the border with Karnataka in the foothills of the, of the Shahidri mountain range at the beginning of Anmodghat. It comes under the Sangyum block. So let's start the video. So do you know that the police in Goa arrested people who were wearing t-shirt in which the Save Malam was written. And in the last few months, there are being protests in Goa like this one. Residents in Goa gathered in thousands late on Sunday night to protest against a series of government projects claiming that it will array, erase large chunks of forest land. Thousands of people are protesting in Goa due to a critical environmental issue. On 19 December 2020, the day of liberation in Goa, when people stood up with slogans saying, Save Malam, and hardly even did Anything when the police came and arrested them. And for more clear information, there were even kids standing with slogans saying Save Malam. So even they arrested the children. So now a question rises why were they arrested? So before the starting, let me explain this all issue to you basically. The government wanted more development and wanted to destroy the jungle by cutting trees and uh, doing some development. You can see what developments are in the rest of the video, so continue the video. They destroyed the jungle Malam without asking the public. The um, And after hearing the news, People who lived in the Malgan forest stood up with slogans saying, Do not touch our land. And also saying, Western hearts are your lungs too. And also there is many travel attractions in the Malam jungle like, This is the Devil Canaan. This is the Bhagwar Mahavir Sanctuary. This is Dutsagar Waterfalls and this is the temple in Malam jungle which is called Tambdi Sirlar Temple. So what development does, does the government want? So do so here there are three projects that the government wants to do which is Highway Railway line, power transmission. This is all projects will this all projects will be done in middle of the jungle. And for railway project, it will use one hundred and thirty eight point thirty seven hectares of the forest land. And for railway lines, uh, there will be uh, twenty thousand trees will be fallen. And the cost for the project is reportedly estimated at rupees 504 crore. And for highway, total of 40,000 trees to, to be destroyed. This project will use 63.615 hectares of the forest land. And the cost of the project is reportedly estimated at rupees 1,794 crore. Now the power transmission will use 48.3 hectares of the forest land and 5,000 trees to be fallen. The, the, pro the project cost is reportedly estimated at 136.8 crore. In total it is being estimated that 60,000 to 80,000 trees will be felled. Now you will ask, what is the harm in this? Like some trees will have to be felled for just a little bit of development. But there is three problems in here. The first problem is that the government did not follow the procedure and did not even consult the public. 
And did you know that uh, in the month of March, the National Board of Wildlife approved these projects through a video conferencing? When the central government was asked that how was this approved, then they said that the, panel, the state panel approved it, therefore we approved it as well. News is that five or six members of the state panel have alleged that they were not even consulted. In fact, not even know that clearance is, has already been given. One and one of the members who was a naturalist who also attended the, uh, attended the state wildlife meeting has said that they have not even given any approval in the in that meeting. This project was un, was unapproved. But the minutes of the meeting say exactly the opposite of uh, and the project was subsequently approved after being forwarded to the National Wildlife Board. The second problem is the environmental activists and protesters believe that this is not only about a few trees, but the entire Goa is going to be transformed into a coal hub. The extension of the railway line and the highway is not for the convenience of the public, but rather, rather for the convenience of big corporators. It is being done so that the transportation of coal is simpler. This coal dust is not just a threat to the agriculture, tourism, as well as for the public. And, uh, and if go become a coal hub, Will tourists like to see coal flying everywhere in the air and imagine the coal, the coal dust in your house and your feet are all black with, uh, with the coal dust and the dust that will affect your skin and the slippery dust that will be all over your house. So comment down below what do you say about this news. And if you like the video, so you know you need to go subscribe, like, and share. And even you can check our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, our social media in the description. In the link given in the description. So don't, don't forget to go and check that out too. So, our, you can check our daily posts, our daily news in our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So don't forget to go and check that out for more life updates like this. So that's all for this video. This is my report in Hyderabad. And you're seeing VMTV.